Hey, this is Dr. Dyer again. You may remember from last time with the pellet expander, uh, she's had this on for a month now, and you can see it's already taken effect. It, the, the wires have pulled the teeth down some, and the pellet expander is, is pushing out a little bit. It's only been a month, so we're not expecting huge changes yet. Uh, but today I'm going to activate it a little bit and what we do there is just get in here and give this a squeeze and it kind of bends that wire a little bit and gives it a little extra push besides just the uh, cylinder uh, of the trans force that's pushing as well. And I'm going to do a little adjustments uh, so it'll push on those front teeth also. I went ahead and tightened this up and you can see it's kind of pushing up against the teeth a little bit tighter. Um, maybe not enough for her to feel it. Do you feel any pressure on there yet? Mm -mm. Not really. So that's good. So it's not painful. But it is putting a little more pressure. You can see these two wires up here in the front. They're actually pushing on these front teeth to kind of get them to go forward as well as the pushing sideways to uh, expand the arch a little bit. Now th this little bar does make you talk a little funny, especially at first, but compared to the old pellet expanders where you had that big piece of plastic that goes across your pellet and you had the screw in the center, this is much more comfortable for the patients. Uh, she probably doesn't think so, but she doesn't have a, another one to compare with. But, <laughs> but she's doing real well. And have you had any pain this first month? Um, the first month I did. Teeth were kind of sore? Yeah. Especially the first couple of days, right? Yeah. But after that it wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. It got to where you could chew pretty, yeah. pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we haven't put in uh, the next size wire yet. Probably do that next time maybe. So. That's it for today. Uh, check us out on TexasSizeSmiles.com.